Welcome to day 12 of our 28 day challenge. I hope you've been enjoying the workouts so far. It's a beautiful day here in Florida, so we are shooting from outside. Hope you've been enjoying our workouts. If you haven't, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and then the notification bell there so that you'll get notified when our videos dropped. You ready to get started? We're working core today and we're gonna work in an AMRAP style. That means as many rounds as possible. Gonna set that timer for five minutes. I'm gonna give you four exercises in this first set of exercises. You're gonna do as many rounds as you can in five minutes. If you're just new to working out and just starting or you have a lower back, neck, shoulder issue, I'm gonna give you some alternatives along the way just to make sure that you protect yourself and keep everything safe. The goal is watch your form. That's today's goal. Whether you're beginning, whether you're advanced, please watch your form. Keep everything in control, abs in nice and tight, chin and eyes always focused and up towards the sky or the ceiling. Focus on keeping those hips tucked under so that lower back stays flat. You ready? Let's go. Our first round of exercise is going to be 20 crunches, 10 full sit-ups, 10 reverse curls, and then 20 bicycle crunches. So 20 crunches, 10 full sit-ups, 10 reverse curls, then 20 bicycle crunches. Let's start with crunches first. You're gonna lay everything back. Take your hands behind your head. Don't interlock your fingers. Keep your fingertips together. When you interlock your fingers, you tend to wanna to pull that chin towards your chest. You wanna keep it all focused up. Lay it back. If you have a bad low back, take a hand towel or a wash rag, roll it up, lay it under the small of your back. However, all of us need to tuck our glutes under so that forces our lower back down. Contract your abdominals. Take your hands behind your head, chin and eyes to the sky, abs in nice and tight. Here we go, straight up. Only thing coming off the ground is your shoulder blades. Your focus here is ribs to hips. Nice small motion, nice and controlled. Always focus on inhaling to pull the air in, exhaling, smush the air out. We have 20. After this 20, we're gonna move to full crunches or excuse me, full sit-ups. If you cannot do a full sit-up, stay with 10 more crunches. Five, four, three, two. Fold those feet together, open those knees out. Full sit-ups. When you sit up, your ending position is here, not here. Keep it lifted, sling those arms. If you have a bad neck, one hand stays behind your head for support. 10. Good, now we're going into reverse curls. So bring those hands up underneath your hips. Put those feet back together. Knees come right above your hips. Toes go back to the floor. Lift your hips to the sky. Don't swing your legs. Keep everything in control. Lift and push. If you have a bad low back, I want you just to take one foot down at a time. For 10, three, two, and one, keep those knees right above those hips. Bring those hands behind your head. We're gonna start bicycle crunches. Extend, elbow to sky, shoulder to knee. Don't stay in, it's not this. You wanna open and work through the obliques. Open and work through that rib cage. Again, bad low back. One foot stays on the ground, one foot comes up. Nice and controlled. However, that upper body is the same. Elbow ceiling, shoulder knee. We have 20, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right back at it, let's go. Feet down, chin and eyes up, 20 crunches. That's it, you guys got it. Focus ribs to hips. Feet together, knees out. 10 full sit-ups.
hands under your hips. Reverse curls. Remember both or singles. Keep it controlled. Two and bicycle crunches. Elbow ceiling, shoulder knee. Feet down. Tapping. Feet up. More advanced. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, five minutes, as many rounds as possible. Let's move on. Round two. All right? Same thing. I'll give you alternatives as we go. You're going to lay it back. You're going to bring those knees right above those hips. Abs in nice and tight. You're going to pick up, palms to the floor, chin, eyes, chest focused to the sky. You're going to have 20 crunches here. 20 crunches here. Again, you need to support that neck, lower back. Put that hand right behind your head. So it's 20 crunches. Keep those arms low. Keep that motion small. Make sure you're not pulling and stretching. It all comes from that midsection, crunching right up. Four, three, gonna keep this form. Now I want you to reach across, across. One shoulder stays to the floor. Reach outside that knee. Again, bad low back, bad neck. Hand behind your head. Working slowly and in control. More advanced. Pick it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're going to take it up right here. You're going to move it all the way over onto all fours. Everything in. Back flat, abs tight. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Bird dog out. And then you're going to pull in. Knee to chest, reach. Knee to chest, we're gonna do 10 a side. If you cannot do the pull in motion, again, because of back or neck issues, hand and arm down. So reach, down, reach, right back down. Switch in sides. When you're out here, from fingertips, the tips of your toes should be a straight line. Pull, reach, pull. You have 10 aside. Two. And one. All right, we're flipping it over. Gonna take you through a full round. Everything back. Knees up above your hips. Chin and eyes to the sky. Palms to the floor an inch off the ground. Here we go for 20. Remember your alternative. One hand behind your head. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Reach. 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 Alternative. Hand behind each time. Good. Three, two, good. Bring it up, flip it around. Back on all fours, bird dogs in. Here we go, 10 aside. alternative is here. Tap. Tap. Three. Two. One. Switch that side. Here we go. Reach. Pull. Six. 
control. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. That's your second round of five minutes. Many rounds as you can go. That one minute rest and get ready. Our third and final round. Our third and final round is facing the floor in plank position or push-up position. We're going to do pike shin taps. We're going to do supermans. And then you're going to hold just regular plank. All right? So let's get ready. Pike shin taps. You're coming up. Push-up position. Elbows, shoulders, wrists all lined up. Take it back. You're going to pike those hips to the sky. As you do, reach back and touch your shin. All right. If you cannot do the reach back, just pike your hips up and come down. Make sure when you come down, it's not this. Pike and then flat. So 10 shin taps or just 10 regular pike ups. Take it down, everything out. 10 supermans, hold for a count of one, two. All right, then bring those elbows in, pick it up, hold it in plank position, and you're going to do 30 seconds of plank. If you cannot hold the plank the whole time, drop your knees before you drop. But when you drop your knees, don't drop your body, just your knees. You're gonna hold plank. All right, ready? We're gonna take it one full round through. Here we go, everything up, abs in tight. Hike it back for 10. Hips up, flat, abs tight. Remember your alternative, hike and down, hike. Nine, ten. Awesome. Bring everything down. Reach it all to the front. Here we go. Up, hold one, two, down. Five more. Five, four, Three, two, good, one, tuck those elbows, put those toes down, 30 seconds of plank, hold, elbows right under shoulders, but down, none of this and none of this, keep it flat, remember, knees down if you're just beginning, but keep that core nice and tight, 30 seconds here. Five, four, two, and down. You guys got it. That's it. That's your three rounds of exercises. So remember, set that timer for five minutes, as many rounds as you can. Hope you've enjoyed this workout. Love to hear how you do with it. As always, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy. Most importantly, let's just be kind to one another. Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.